Good afternoon, everybody. It's Saturday afternoon. I, I, you know, I just don't get it, okay? Listen to this, all right? For the past several weeks, I've been campaigning, uh, trying to get 25 signatures for the Waterville City Charter. Okay, the city charter in Waterville basically is the laws that govern Waterville, such as, you know, do we need a city manager? Do we need uh, a mayor? Different aspects. It consists of government, okay? And uh, so for the past several weeks, I've garnered 25 signatures, which was, uh, you know, not hard to get. I'm in Ward 7 which is basically the south end of Waterville, south of Sherwin Street, uh, north of uh, Silver Street, West River Road on river on the stream side, not on the other side. But anyway, so I got 25 signatures. They were verified by our city uh, clerk, Patty Dubois, on Thursday. Friday was a deadline. So my my name will be on the ballot November 5th as running for the City Charter Commission. I want to thank all people, uh, people in the South End for backing me up, and uh, hopefully I can uh, win the election, which brings me to my next point. <clears throat> I just found out one of the biggest things that the Charter Commission is being revisited. Waterville already has a city charter, but, you know, because of issues going on, uh, they're revamping it, okay? And part of this committee is to revamp it. One of the biggest issues that they want to do away with, Waterville has seven wards, okay? A ward is a district. In other words, I live in the south end. Uh, we have a city councilor, Eric Thomas. Um, if you live in Ward 5, that's Jay Coelho. Uh, you know, District 1, Ward 1 is Mike Morris, so forth and so on. They want to do away with that, okay? Why? I'll tell you the reason why. And it's five letters, and it's C-O-L-B-Y, Colby, okay? Because one of the Democrats that goes to school for four years at Colby, is running for the city charter, okay? Now, I'm all for government, and I'm all for people being involved, okay? But this certain person, if, if they're going into the city charter and they're revamping the city charter and they leave Waterville after four years, who's left holding the bag? You, okay? And this is so wrong, Okay? Myself, I was born in 1958. This house has been in the family since 1898. I am the fifth generation to have ties to this home. Okay? My grandson, Isaiah, will be the seventh generation because my daughter lives here. So she's the sixth. Isaiah will be the seventh. The twins will also be the seventh. Okay? So I've lived here. I've also participated in Waterville government. I've been on several committees, uh, the airport board, the marijuana ordinance. I, I attend city council. But my biggest thing is I don't take the simple answer of, you know, so be it. Okay? That's not in my vocabulary. You know that. Okay? So the powers to be want to revamp using... Let's say Kobe, okay? They're in Ward 5, the, the building on Main Street, okay? So let's say, you know, we go into the form of government where Kobe tells you what to do, when to mow your lawn, what color to paint your house. They would have that authority. Is that right? Sounds like communism, if you ask me, or dictatorship. It, not on my watch. I'm sorry. You know, we got to keep the ward system. That's our only voice. If I have a problem, I go to Eric Thomas. And Eric brings it up to the city council, mayor, 
city manager, powers to be, and we take it from there, okay? It's as simple as that. It, it really is simple. But why should somebody that has no knowledge, okay? And, and I'm all for participation in government, trust me. I had to start somewhere. I climbed the ladder. I started at the bottom rung, okay? Knowing your neighbor, knowing how they feel, you know, about different issues. Have they done that? Really? For instance, and I, and I, you know, I'm not bad-mouthing anybody, but the other day I saw a real good friend of mine, real good friend, next door neighbor at one time, okay? And he was a school teacher for 31 years. 31 years he was a school teacher on Vinyl Haven, okay? I'm proud of him. I really am. He educated youth. And once he left Vinyl Haven, he now resides in Ward 7. And he came to my house the other day, and uh, we chewed the fat, you know, for 10 minutes. And he was oblivious, oblivious to what's going on in Waterloo. <sighs> You know, and he's running for Chatter Commission. You know, I had to explain, you know, it, 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 it just isn't so. I'm, I'm the real deal. <laughs> hey, trust me. Nick Isgrel is a great friend of mine. And I get, you know, wrap it up, Bob. You're, you're, you're talking too much, you know. I get it because I'm compassionate. I'm, I'm the real deal, you know. Fix the damn problem the first time, and you won't have the problem the second time. You know, there's so many issues going on in Waterville right now, okay? We got parking down the concourse. We got Riverwalk, you know? It's just on and on and on, okay? And if you don't know what's happening in Waterville, how can you be involved on the Charter Commission that's going to rewrite the rules and the laws of the land? I don't get it. So my, my name is on the ballot for November 5th. I don't know how many people are going to be uh, on this committee. I've heard 15. Okay. So now I've got to go and fight from now until November 5th, you know, which doesn't bother me. Now, you know, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm compassionate. I'm hurt. But somebody that, you know, has no idea... Okay, of what's going on in Waterville. Wants to rewrite your rules? Really? Uh, I don't take no, I don't take stupidity. No, I don't. I could sit down with you and we'll have a conversation. You give your view, I'll give mine, and we'll meet together. Because this just can't happen. It can't happen. I don't get it. And I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, Independent. I don't care if you're Pedal Z. Just common sense. Common sense, folks. Okay? You know, the thing is, is say what you want. Okay? This weekend is a bicycle coalition. They got a big thing down Riverwalk. 450 bikers. They got a big... Big, big thing going down, down the river walk, okay? So don't I, on Wednesday. On Wednesday, I have the 18th anniversary of that tragic day, 9-11, okay? I had to go down to Pox and Rec and get a permit. No big deal. No big deal at all. Matt Skian was fantastic. He had it right there. Boom, bada, bing. You know, did they get a permit? You know? I saw Wallace events. Whenever I see that truck Wallace events, I think of five-letter word. Starts with a C, ends with a Y. So I think they had something to do with this. It's great. The whole thing is they want to build a pipe, a bike rail trail, excuse me, from Key West, Florida, all the way up to northern Maine, two thousand plus miles. I get it. Perfect. I wish I could do it. I don't have a ten-speed. I don't have a twenty-speed. 
oh, the struggle is real, okay? But somebody does, okay? And that's great. I'm all for that, okay? And that's the reason why they're down here. But Joe Public, who always takes his dog out on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, down to Riverwalk, you know, throw the Frisbee, whatever, they can't do that today. They can't. No parking, okay? There's 450 tents down there. It looks like Tent City. This is what's going to happen to Waterville, okay? God forbid that our homeless shelters become overcapacitated because this is exactly what you're going to see. Is everybody in tents? And it is intense because it's not happening on my damn watch. There has to be a solution, okay? And I have so many fires going right now, so many fires in the fireplace, okay? And I'm poking, trust me, I'm poking that fire. And that fire is getting intense. It's going to be a bonfire pretty soon. We're going to have to call Waterville Fire Department to put it out. Because I'm turning up the heat. And it ain't going to be pretty. So I just wanted to bring you this message. Think about it. You have until November 5th to really think. If you want somebody else that has no idea what's going on. And somebody that's going to be here for four years. If that. Okay. That has buku bucks. Okay. To tell you what color of car to drive in the city of Waterville. Now, is that right? Mm -mm, not on my watch, okay? Just think about it. Comment. Let me know how you feel. I'm asking for your support. The struggle is real, folks. The struggle is real. Jay Coelho, thank you very much for the endorsement. I really appreciate that. I know I, I, know I got the city council behind me. I, I do, because I'm compassionate. They, they see me at the city council meeting. Bob, sit down. You're going to have another heart attack. I really appreciate that. But I'm compassionate. Okay? I'm the real deal. City of Waterville, I love you. And I'm doing this for you. Okay? All right. Thank you and God bless. And uh, stay tuned. More to come.